Hello, what's up? Um, I just um, wanted to um, ask you something. Um, in the sermon, uh, I have already heard um, from the church um, where uh, I attended. Um, now, can I ask you these questions, please? What happens when you have the power? What if you're the head of this department or a headquarter when all you do is to tell me what do you do you know Jesus had all authority all power in him and he was the only man who knew what happens if you have the whole world in your hands well John 13 4 5 says it in this way it says, rose from supper and laid aside his garments, took a towel and girded himself. In verse 5 it says, after that he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with the towel with which he was girded. Now, As you probably have gathered, uh, Judas, now before Judas's feet had been washed, um, Judas had been betrayed um, with both situations. In fact, he was betrayed in both situations. The first of which was um, he kissed Jesus um, in the garden um, of Gethsemane. And number two, um, he also had been betrayed by his money. There were 30 pieces of tr silver trillions he had. 30 of them he had used. Um, I mean, um, no matter what he did, um, Judas was really, really obsessed with his money. But anyway, let's move on. The hired hand that was supposed to wash his feet did not come to work that night. The disciples are wondering, who's going to wash their feet? Nobody showed up. Nobody came to take the towel. Um, in um, labeling them the servant, not in front of either the rabbi or their leader. Only the rabbi takes the water and fills it up and he taught the 12 guys a cold hard lesson. Nobody could ever believe it, if it was ever happening. Jesus was the teacher and the Lord and he was um, getting ready to do um, the, loud, the longest serving job of all, no matter what. You see, whatever you're doing to the Lord, always do it unto Him. And if you're saying something, and if you're seeing some things, well, and whatever your days are going to work um, that approaches you, you go straight to work, I must say. Then see your job in a way to make um, known that God was really good and to see you do something good. It can mean a lot more than what you think. Well, that's my commentary for today. I thank you for watching. You take good care, and I'll see you again with another message. Bye.